What's up guys, we're back here for the second half of the Best Shot Doubles. Um, just a quick recap, Drew Squared consisting of me and Andrew Klokuski are sitting at NIG4 through the front nine. And Gold Team consisting of Ian Seawold and Eric Jansen are sitting at even. So here we go, hope you guys enjoy. All right, starting off with hole 10, we have a 404 foot par three that is takes a long left to right shot. Starting off the back nine, we have Drew trying to throw a big Anheuser with his strike, but it ends up just stalling out and going OB. Andrew throwing a power sidearm with his opto hex. It's a great shot, landing right next to the telephone. It's a great place to be on the first shot. Ian trying to throw a big Annie with his heat and it just ends up hitting the first clump of trees. Eric trying to flex his criminal and it just stalls out and goes OB. Gold team will be throwing from Ian's shot since it was in bounds with his zone. And just a pretty far left shot. Eric trying to flex his Gazelle and just turns it over, goes way right. Nice little V rock up shot for Andrew, right next to the basket. Drew throwing his P2, trying to run it, and goes a little bit long. Ian for the par save, throwing his Luna, and throws her just a little bit right past the basket. Eric with his Gator, and it goes in. What a great shot. Play it back. A little bit of wobble, but it doesn't matter. He gets the par save with the gator. Great putt by Eric. And Andrew will just tap in the par. Hole 11 is a 336 foot par three with lots of options. Big hyzer, forehand or backhand or up the gut. Drew with trying to go up the gut with his TL, but just turns it over and it goes over the OB, but lands in bounds. Whereas Andrew with the big forehand, throws it a little high, hits the last couple trees and just pops out. Eric will be trying to throw a flex with the criminal, stalls out and just uses the hill and flies OB. Ian will be taking the big hyzer out with his Nuko S and hits the first tree and lands in bounds though. Andrew will be throwing his approach with the AVR and lands just short. Drew with his P2 and goes just long left. With the Gator up shot and both teams will tap in for their threes. Hole 12 is a, about a 300 foot par three in the long position with a Mando on the right and OB on the right as well. Drew throwing his destroyer on a big flex line, comes back safely on the top of the hill. Andrew's throwing a forehand from left to right and lands on the side of the hill. Eric throwing a big hyzer with the criminal, landing just on top of the hill. And Ian going for a long and hyzer shot with his heat and just puts it on too much hyzer, not enough power, and it just stalls out to the left. The gold team will be taking Ian's shot and Ian throws it down there right next to the basket. Eric throwing his on an AVR on a big hyzer, also next to the basket. From the side of the hill, Andrew's up shot, parks it right next to the basket. Drew throws his P2, puts it right next to the basket as well. Both teams will be putting for their three. Eric just misses. Ian with his Luna. Puts it in and Andrew taps in as well. Hole 13 is a 318 foot par three going from left to right with a big hill at the end if you go long. Drew throwing his leopard three, and the wind just takes it and puts it right in the middle of the fairway. 
Andrew trying to throw his nuke SS and just turns it over and goes into the trees. Ian with his sting and just turns it over a little too much and hits the brush on the right. And with a big forehand out of Eric, he lands in the open. Up shot from Drew and hits the guardian bushes. Andrew's up shot. Tries to go a little bit Annie. Gets past it. From Eric's spot, Eric will be throwing his gator. And just throws it a little too high. And Ian with his Zeppelin. Just a little too low and hits the guardian bushes. Drew's upshot, just shanks it and goes off the cliff. Andrews did as well. Ian for his putt and just goes long. And Eric just plays it safe. Andrew from a little bit off the cliff and just short. Drew with his P2 and just short as well. Drew squared with a five and gold team with a four. Hole 14 is a 473 foot downhill par three with water long and OB right with a cement parking lot. Eric will be throwing his criminal. He will try to flex it a little bit and it just stalls out and goes way left. Ian will be throwing his Undertaker. He tried to throw this nice and straight. Let the hill do the work. And he does. And it ends up going through the tree line and landing in the water. Andrew trying to throw a big forehand with the long run up. And he ends up getting down into circle one. And then Drew throwing his destroyer. Just turns it way over and goes way far into the parking lot. They'll be taking Andrew's shot. Gold team will be taking Ian's shot from the water for their two. And Andrew going for his birdie. Can he get the soul birdie? Oh, just right. Drew trying to save it. And they get the birdie. Hole 15 is a 205 foot par three with a tight gap up the gut or a wider Anheuser gap. Drew will be taking the Anheuser gap with the Stingray and just throws it a little low and it'll be short. Andrew goes up the gut and it slides closer to the basket. Eric taking the big Kaiser out on accident, goes way left. And then Ian going with the Anheuser out as well, throws it nice and high, lets it float in towards the basket. From Ian's spot, nice little approach from Eric. Going for the two, and it's in. Gold team will putting in their par. Hole 16 is a 244 foot par three with a tight gap going from left to right. Drew will be going up the gut with a firebird and he misses the gap, but gets a favorable kick into the fairway. Also going up the gap, but misses it to the right. Ian trying to get out the forehand as well and just holds on to it for too long. And then going up the gap with the stingray and hitting the tree. For the approach, the OS puts it just outside circle one. Eric with his gator. Oh, just throws it up too high. Going to save their approach, Andrew. And then a little sidearm for Drew. Those are way too high, and it doesn't get a nice skip at all. For their three, oh, just to the left. Drew for the par save. 
And just too high. Both teams will be tapping in now. Gold team for their four. Andrew squared for their five. Hole 17 is a 202 foot par three uphill. Play is either to land on the ledges or with a big flex on the flick. Going for the flex flick and just throws it too low and lands on the ledges. Eric going for a flex, but it just hyzers out. Also going for the flex flick and lands up on the top ledge, just a little left. Drew, we going for his fire bud as well and just no flex at all and just hits the tree. For the birdie, oh, just off the cage. And just off the cage for their birdie as well. Just off the chains for this birdie and Drew for hit the birdie. Way off, just air balls it. Both teams will tap in their threes. Hole 18 is a 181 foot par three downhill with a big dog leg left. That takes a large hyzer to get there. Eric throwing his gazelle. Just a little too straight. With the wasp, Ian just turns it over and goes into the trees. Andrew throws it not a nice angle, lets it fight. He's parked pretty well. And I just throw it too straight and end up on the right side of the fairway. Gold team from Eric's drive, both throw some tomahawks. And both get slightly out for the birdie. And it's just way short. Andrew will try to throw it in. And both teams will tap in their pars to end the 18. Gold team ends with plus two. Andrew squared pulls out the win with a minus three. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.